So today I'm talking about a P0773 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0773 code? Well, it's a shift solenoid E electrical. And so what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them that lets the computer control the fluid pressure and where it's going and different things like this, which is gonna cause the transmission to shift gears. But when you get this P0773 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these solenoids, mainly this shift solenoid E, and so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0773 code? Well, the first thing to go and do, whenever you have any kind of transmission problem, really, is if possible, go and check the transmission fluid and be sure it's not low or really dirty or anything like this. Many vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, it's a good idea to go and check it, be sure it's good. And this code is pointing more towards electrical issue. But if possible, it's always a good idea to go and check the transmission fluid and be sure that's good. And the most common cause of a P0773 code is going to be either that shift solenoid E has gone bad, it needs to be replaced, or the wiring going to it. Especially if you're not getting a lot of other codes or anything like this. And if you're only getting this P0773 code, then very likely either that solenoid has gone bad or there's some kind of issue on the wiring. If you do go to work on a vehicle with the P0773 code, you will need to get wiring schematics along with diagrams to know where all the solenoids are located mainly the solenoid E, because there will be differences depending on the year, the make, the model, different things like this. If you have a multimeter, you can also test that solenoid. And to do this, you look up what the rated ohms are for that specific solenoid, since there is differences between these solenoids. And then you set your meter to ohms, and you go and see if it matches this. If it doesn't match that, if it goes higher or lower than that, then you know it's bad, you know it needs to be replaced. You can also use a multimeter to check the voltage going to that solenoid, usually 12 volts. Again, be sure to check schematics for that vehicle, but usually there's 12 volts going to these solenoids, so you can be sure that you got voltage going there and a good ground, because the most common things that's going to cause this is either that shift solenoid E's gone bad or the wiring going to it. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this is going to be like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module. Usually when a computer does go bad, you're going to be getting a lot of other codes. When a computer goes bad, it usually just doesn't give you one code. While it is possible, usually that doesn't happen. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, there might be some kind of issue going on there or with the connections going to the computer or something like that. Also, if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure to check the battery, check all the battery connections. And you can even check the alternator output and be sure that's correct. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply along with a good ground or that can throw them off and just cause them to have problems. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0773 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.